welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. Today's video is super exciting because it is a first impressions and review and wear test and demo and all of those things on some of these new Fenty Beauty products. I'm so excited. So I have the primer, the foundation, a contour stick, a highlight, and I also picked up the sponge. So this is what I have on my face today. All of it. I think it looks pretty good, but to see my full thoughts, just keep watching. So I mostly picked up face products, but that's mostly what they had anyway. And I took everything out of the box already, but the packaging is super pretty on everything. So like a plus there. But anyway, let's just get started. So the natural thing to start with, I think, would be the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So I wasn't planning on getting this, but then I just tried it in store just to see if it seemed cool and it felt so good, like moisturizing, but not like gross, I don't know. And not too um, silicone-y, so I'm excited to see how it works like as an actual primer, so let's go. Okay, so it's just like that. It's kind of like a lotion. I don't know if that's like enough. Okay, I'm just gonna add like a little bit more in case that first pump was not enough. And I'm gonna put it all over my face. It doesn't have a ton of like scent, which is good. Like it smells nice, but like very subtly because sometimes, you know, like two scent two scented of products can be really gross like so once you get it on it definitely has a bit of like a tacky feel but not in like a bad way it's like smooth but also kind of like a tacky feel i don't know i like it so we'll see how the foundation applies over top i got the foundation in the shade 140 which was i think light with warm undertones and i'm really excited to try it because i do have oily skin i always want to try out new kind of more matte foundations, but I like that it's marketed as soft matte because I don't like when it's too flat, you know? So yeah, and the packaging on this is also beautiful. Like look at like the white cap, the frosted glass, super pretty. And it says to shake well, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna start with one pump and then see if we have to build up more. Cause I'm more of a light coverage person. Oh, it's very liquidy, okay. And I bought the sponge that uh, came with the line because I really only like applying foundation with a sponge. So I'm only gonna use the sponge, but like you could probably use whatever you want. It definitely looks pretty light in terms of coverage, but it also looks like there's nothing on my skin, which is really nice. So I'm gonna use the other half of this to cover this side and then probably go in with another to see if it is buildable. So yeah. first layer it's definitely like a sh light sheer to light coverage with the sponge but again I like sheer coverage so I am going to add another layer mostly because like this area you can see basically everything but I also did put a lot less on this side because I had pretty much run out so let's try this instantly added more coverage so definitely do that so far this 
this is super nice. It's very light, like thin, and like doesn't look like anything is on your skin really, but it covers so well. So, so far that's great. And I think it's a little more matte than like a skin-like finish though, but like at the same time, I don't know. Something about it just looks really good. And the shade match is really good for me also. So I'm glad I went with the warm instead of neutral undertone. And normally I would just conceal this with concealer, but I think I'm gonna try and just build this up like one more layer to see if it's possible to do. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that on like the problem areas just to see. up super well so I would say that this is a light coverage that you can build up to full coverage without it looking cakey whatsoever like this really looks like skin oh my god I'm very impressed with this so we'll see how it holds up on my skin throughout the day obviously but that's why I'll do check-ins and um yeah oh my god I'm like really impressed so far so I'm gonna really quick go I didn't get a concealer from the line so I'm gonna go do my concealer eyeshadow and brows and then come back to finish up trying the rest of the products all right so a majority of my makeup is on and the foundation still looks really good it does look kind of like extra matte but I kind of like that it's not even set with a powder yet so um that's pretty impressive all I did was do some under eye Concealer, I use the Wet n Wild Photo Finish Concealer, and then I put some NYX eye stuff on and some Wet n Wild mascara. So now I'm gonna move on and use the rest of the products that I got. So I did pick up a contour stick. I got the shade Amber because that seemed like the best contour shade for me. So I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna just leave this and not set it with another contour product, I think, because like I wanna see how it works by itself. I'm gonna try blending with this, but I don't know how that'll work. But I'm gonna use like the top part because it's kind of like flat at the top. definitely recommend working in sections when you're using this because it dries pretty fast um, and it was a little hard to blend out especially up here but the shade is really really nice I feel like it looks really natural um, like just a nice shadow that's kind of what that looks like you do have to work a little bit to blend it but um, I like it so far so I do like this I have other contour sticks but the tone of this one is slightly different so I'm gonna set it with a little bit of bronzer though, just because my face looks a little dead without bronzer. Now there's no blush in the line. As far as I could tell, I think it was all highlights. So I'm just gonna use this ColourPop blush in the shade Drop of a Hat because I feel like it'll go with the tone of the makeup I'm using. And I'm just gonna like dip the sponge in it and see how that goes. So the blush has a little bit of a sheen in it, but I feel like that looks really nice with this foundation since it's so matte. It adds, you know, something. I'm actually like tempted to not set this with a powder because my face already looks pretty smooth, like in terms of pores and it looks very matte. So I'm gonna bring a powder with me in case I have to touch it up, but I, for now, I'm just gonna leave it not powdered, which I have never done before, so. We'll see how that goes. All right, and now the last product I have to try is this highlight. I have the shade Kilowatt, which comes with lightning dust and fire crystal. And these are so beautiful. Like if you just swatch them themselves, I don't know if you can see, but like the sheen from swatching is amazing. So I'm super excited to actually wear this as a highlight. I think I'm gonna go with the more, um, you know what, I'm gonna mix them together, but I'm gonna start with Lightning dust. It's like the perfect champagne kind of mix of colors for my skin tone. 
And I think there were like five different shades of these little palettes, which is super awesome. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the lighter one. Oh my God. Yes. On the Cupid's bow, just a mix in some of my nose. So hopefully you can see, but like, that is beautiful. Like, it's just like the perfect, like, sheen highlight. It's like intense, but not like a stripe. And since there were so many shades, I feel like you could find one for your skin tone pretty easily um, that actually looks not like a stripe. So that is awesome. I am obsessed. Hopefully it lasts throughout the day because, um, like, my Becca ones that I like, um, that's a good shade for me, Becca Opal, in the summer. But they don't tend to last on me, and some of the glitters get everywhere so we'll see how this one holds up so i'm just going to put a lip color on and then i guess that will be the end of this application thing so i will call the time at 10 36 a.m so we will see how it starts to look from here throughout the day um yeah so so it is 1 38 now so this has all been on my face since like 10 and uh, I think it looks pretty good. You probably can't really see in the sun, but like I didn't even powder it and my face is not super oily. So, so far so good. Gina says I look fabulous. Hey guys, um, checking in with um, the new Fenty Beauty stuff. I did powder my face a little bit at Sephora because it was starting to get oily, but honestly not that bad for um, oily skin with this foundation. So, so far I'm really liking it. Um, my nose is a little, like it's coming off a little bit, but not bad, but my face looks amazing. I only had to powder like right in this area. So yeah, um, hope you enjoy, oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, back to uh, looking at crystal books. And, uh, bye. Hey guys, it is now 8.34 p.m. and for some reason feels like 11 p.m. But um, since this has been on now since about 10 a.m., that is like eight hours roughly, right, I think, that I have had this makeup on. And honestly, I'm so impressed with everything. Um, my favorite thing is probably the foundation. I just think it looks so natural, like, but it covers everything. And I would be, like, I would forget that I was wearing it and then I would like see myself in a mirror and I'd be like, oh girl, your skin looks so good. <laughs> Just kidding, it's the foundation. Um, yeah, so the foundation, hands down, one of my favorite things. Also, the um, highlight looks wet and it has been eight hours and like you can still see it on my face. So that is amazing too. So I'm gonna definitely say foundation, highlight, favorite things. Primer, I really liked, but I'm gonna have to try it with other products to see if it is the reason that the foundation looks so good or like the combination of the two or if the foundation is just great by itself. So we'll see on that just cause it's, it's hard to tell about a primer like the first time, but my face definitely doesn't feel oily or slippy or gross. So thumbs up and the sponge was great. I like it for $16. That's a pretty good sponge. It's very soft like the Beauty Blender is and the shape is really nice. And then the contour stick I liked. It's nothing too special though. So I would say if you have other um, contour sticks that you like and you already have them, I would just use those up and then maybe try this one when you run out because it is nice. Like it definitely is a nice natural shadow, but I just don't know if it's like something you really need, you know? But yeah, so everything I tried so far, I did really like. Um, this is a 100% honest review. I spent my money on this stuff yesterday, um, obviously a lot of money, but I definitely do not regret any of those purchases. I really enjoyed how they wore and I love um, Rihanna and I just am, am so happy that this line is as good as I thought it would be. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all those things that we have to ask you to do and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.